I want to show you something. If we take a rock like this and we knock a chunk of it off, we've got a rock and a piece of milk, right? No, we still got a piece of rock. This is the same, we haven't changed it. But what I want to point out, this is a polymer. Do you know what a polymer is? Okay, let's, let's look at two words, monomer and polymer. A monomer is one of a kind. There is no one else in the world like you are. You are a monomer. You're a monomer. But if we all held hands together, we could call ourselves a polymer. Now, what we're looking at today is an inorganic polymer. This rock is made up of silicon dioxide, a whole lot of them all tied together. And you'll see a lot of beautiful minerals here today. Those minerals are polymers. Now we can make a polymer. Let's say we take water, Portland cement, stir them up together. Now for right now, we have a mixture. We have a mixture of water and cement. But we're gonna make an artificial stone. We've got some sodium silicate here. Put a little bit of that in there and stir it up. Now, what we've got here, the sodium reaches out, grabs the calcium aluminum silicate in the cement and holds onto it real tight. And it gives us a cement that sets up that fast. Now, what we've done is made a synthetic stone. I've got another little item over here. This is guar cellulose, like uh, the guar you get in a health food store. I'm gonna put some green color in it, kind of pretty it up a little bit. Stir that up. Then I've got some 19 mule team borax. Now, it, it used to be 20 mule team, but one of them called in sick. Put that in there. Now, just like the sodium reacted with the aluminum silicate, the borate reaches out and grabs four of those cellulose molecules. So when we get through, we wind up with something that lets me change my mind. When I decide to put it in the sack, I can put it in the sack or change my mind and put it back in the glass. Now that's just a, a polymer. Now we're all familiar with polymers. We see them all the time. Trash bags are made out of polymers. Uh, a lot of shoes are made out of polymers. We've got polymers everywhere. When we look at a rock, the next time we pick one up, let's look at it from a different perspective. It's a polymer. And you know what a polymer is. It's many of a kind. And that'll give you a new perspective to looking at your rocks. So I want you to go out there and look at all those displays and see if you can get a little bit more enjoyment out of it. And when your teacher gives you some homework in science, be sure and do that homework so you'll understand this. Okay? Appreciate you guys and standing up here taking your time. Thank you.